This is on a tiny car dealership. Only five ninety five. No, fifty nine ninety five. That's a nice car. Five ninety five, that'd be a deal. John and I decided to take a walk downtown Buell on Saturday, and I don't know the date. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it is the 15th, May uh -oh. the 15th. Okay. Cute little downtown. Yes. This used to be a movie theater, and it's now a Mexican restaurant. You can tell by the sign. I know, it's really cool. Felicity Fines Design. That looks cute. Oh, it's closed. And it's Saturday. Man, don't people know they gotta be open on Saturdays? The Rustic Lust. Oh, so cute. cute. Adorable. I'll have to come here during the week. Go say hi to our friends. Who are our friends? Uh, what's your name? Very cute. Oh, this one's open. We should go in here. No, we. Oh, this parlor. Oh, it's parlor. We've been here. Just wave to them. Hey. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been in here, parlor antiques. Might be hitting that later. Oh, it's a photography studio. Oh, it makes me sad to see empty buildings. Hopefully, they're relocated. BLT. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been wanting to check out this bistro. Heading down. There's the ice cream shop. Yeah, I haven't been in there yet. Other than to walk in and walk out. Because <laughs> it was crowded. A little overcast today. Oh, there's Industrial City over there. Sorry, a little jerky. Kind of heading away from a lot of the stuff. I like that pull of ice cream. Oh yeah, I never <laughs> noticed that. It's too bad you can't sit inside with this place. I think. I think it's too I small, owned, right? Well, you can put a few chairs in there. I think if I owned, we've been inside. Mm -hmm, I think yes. If I owned it, I'd have a, a, at least one or two tables. You guys are getting a bird's eye view of the town yes. of Buell. Yes. Is on a tiny car dealership. Only five ninety five. No, fifty nine ninety five. Nice five ninety five. That'd be a deal. What the heck is this? Ooh. Oh, hey, I have one of those for sale on eBay, right there. Oh, a lot of old jars. Is it closed? Yeah. I mean, permanently? I don't know. Oh. Mm. Okay then. It looks like they have them. Ooh, this is cool. I like this stuff. I like the swans. Look at really these. pretty. These are cool. This is the kind of stuff I want to buy. Ooh, I love this. Ooh. Carnival glass. Let's see if uh, we can get a phone. Call. Ooh, love that. Really cool. I don't think it's a business it's actually open. Uh, unfortunately. Man, they could be oh, it's stuff. beautiful. I know. Oh, bummer. <laughs> oh, bored it up. I don't like to see that. This is closed, though. Yes. I'm surprised there's no so sad. moving in. So sad. Shipping containers. Hey, we watched that show, You Live in What? People live in those. Oh, I know. Oh man, that would have been nice to look in there. Ah, I hope these aren't COVID related. Oh, let's go check out this one. Closed again, but the glass shop. Uh, I don't know what that is—a garage, I guess. 
Oh, it's part of the glass shop. That's a good shot of that part of downtown right there. Yeah. The tractor is going down. True. Tour of Buell, Idaho. Downtown. I just wonder what that Sons of Thunder thing is. Is this motorcycle shop or something? Looks like a church, maybe. Weird. Calvary Chapel. Wow, and it's called Sons of Thunder. Interesting. It's, it's a little church. Okay. All right. And now we're across the street from where we used to be a minute ago. Fuel Herald. The newspaper? I guess. Advertising and printing. Hmm. Oh, look at that little camera, how neat. Oh. Wow, look at that picture. And a huge reel to reel. Reel. Wow. Nice. I like that kind of old stuff. My dad was a printer. Oh, the farm girl is one to go in here. So cute. Is it open? Please be open. Yes. Good, let's go in. Can we? Yeah. Okay. This is very cool. Oh, I agree. That's what I just said. That's what we think of it. Super light. Okay. I see they like decoupage of a new newspaper. Look at these neat woven baskets. Really nice. Fifteen dollars. Okay, here we are at the estate sale. I had to turn the volume down because John and the owner were talking the whole time I was filming and it got a little loud and distracting. Okay, this is just uh, me surveying everything he has. Most of the things were quite expensive. I don't know how much those are, but I just didn't feel like comping them out or asking him. He had quite a lot of things. There's a pasta bowl and I no longer can eat pasta because of my diet. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, just yeah, he had some interesting things and some not so interesting things. <laughs>
really neat carved giraffe, but not for $20. He had a friend, a smaller giraffe that was a little cheaper for five, but he didn't look very remarkable, so I left him there. I thought this was kind of cool, this carved box, and you can see me trying to open it with one hand. <laughs> kind of move things out of the way. I actually don't know what that is, but I closed it up and left it for someone else. I thought this uh, cool trinket box was neat, only four bucks. Um, it's pretty lightweight. It was pretty, but I did leave it. I did pick this up. Um, it was only $3 and it had cool markings on the back. So I thought I would grab that. I really like this necklace. I've sold a necklace like this before, but it turns out it was $15, so I left it. That's a neat Mickey clock. I didn't know what these were. They're pretty interesting. Um, like, I don't know. <laughs> Some kind of skewers. Mr. Chicken. A rooster. Lots of glassware. Those decorative balls were kind of cool. That was interesting. Yeah, he just kind of had a mishmash of different things. I thought this plate was uh, interesting looking, but looked at the back and there was no markings. Uh, so I left it. And this, I thought it might be something valuable. It turns out it's from FTD. So that stayed as well. This was pretty. Did have some markings on it, Coney's. Had never heard of them. Um, didn't really feel like comping it out. And it is breakable and bulky and didn't want to ship it, so I left it. Uh, these in, uh, vintage cards interested me kind of reminded me of the 70s this I did pick up it's um, it's a drawer unit <laughs> this was interesting uh, made in Italy it was really pretty but it just didn't strike me so I left it old adding machine and irons yeah he just had some old Printers. Irons. Tigger! <laughs> I like the monkey cookie jar. That's what I was looking at there. I had some helmets. Old furniture. Even the furniture was expensive. This was a new section with SpongeBob, etc. Toaster oven. Things I didn't need or want to buy or ship. Just miscellaneous tools. Yeah, some of those things in there were nice, but I passed. And this pillow is really nice. I considered it because we have a blue couch. It's really pretty, but we already have a few pillows, so I left that there. Yeah, that looked like that was Fenton, um, but because of his prices were so expensive, I didn't bother. Yeah, I like the little Snoopy. Oh, I was really interested in this, the bows, but I didn't know how much it was, and I didn't want to ask because of how high he's priced everything else. I just decided to leave it. I like that Calumet baking powder tin. <music> They had some interesting things in there. That mask. I thought this was pretty. Very lightweight. Didn't really know what it was other than a bowl, so I just left it. Pursuit. I already have one of those. 
This clown was creepy, and I thought about picking it up, but I really don't want to sell that. The little figurines were cool. That reminded me of these figurines when I was a little girl. And I thought that was neat. You were special. August moon, but I just left it. were neat but as you can see they're $45 just too much no meat on the bone so to speak I have a feeling he's not gonna sell those or at least not for a while those were really cute that looked like an Egyptian cat <laughs> dollars for that. I thought that was pretty caught my eye but didn't have any markings and so I left it behind. That guy was fun. Think about the bowling bag for me and my hubby because we just got balls but didn't want to get a bag with a ball and I did end up picking this up I didn't even comp it out I'm pretty sure I will sell that it was eight dollars but I think it's worth it as you can see it has a selection of buttons and sewing supplies So I'm sure some seamstress or um, someone would want that. This was interesting. It just had like, you know, yarn and scraps of material, but I didn't pick it up. Assortment of phones. Wonder if I should have gotten those. I have sold phones before. Those were interesting. Um, candy dispensers or it could be toy dispensers. Back to the baskets. Yeah, I'm not really into selling dolls. This was interesting. I wonder if I should have picked that up. I think that might have sold. But again, I was just kind of leery of asking this guy the prices because they're so expensive. The picture was pretty. My hubby and I just thought about getting that. These were neat old um, laundry baskets. Uh, they reminded me of my grandma. She used to have those. And yeah, that's a vintage toilet case. That was neat, mid-century modern bookcase. I really liked it. Three percent charge, which would be about ninety-three yeah. cents. Oh, our total is what? Thirty. Okay. Hey, that's a deal. That's in the summertime because I don't have. That is a big fan. I don't have. That's my air in the summer. Oh. Finally, get to eat. Oh, you'll send me to Sam. I know. Isn't that cute? It is. Hey, should stand near him. <laughs> All right, let's go eat. Oh, somebody ate outside. Oh, <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Peter Rabbit. 
Oh, I'm gonna be a good girl and eat well. Oh, stay on my diet. Wait, go ahead. I'm about to attempt to eat this. <laughs> and there's mine. It's called Peter Rabbit. I'm in the ladies' room and I just had to show you this. <laughs> this counter is all pennies. Very, very cute.